question about that or buy one go into the end paying for half temple of five so this is the chemical uh, com composition you can see and this is a light brown color powder or sometimes it comes as a solution dissolved in HCl and this can be stored at minus say 20 celsius or 4 celsius uh, depending on the solution status of the powder stage and it is recommend to prepare this freshly because if you store this more time it will become uh, like uh, brownish and uh, use gloves because this is a toxic chemical and this is mainly used in hematology and histological experiments and in plants mainly to detect hydrogen peroxides uh, using microscopy so today i'm going to give you a brief overview about this uh, method so the theory behind this uh, staining procedure is in the presence of these hydrogen peroxides and uh, post radical peroxidase this dab reacts uh, and form a complex like this and this is a brown precipitate and this is resistant to heat and insoluble in water alcohol or any other organic solvents that's why we can observe under microscope because it lasts for several days and this is a simple procedure so you can make a stock solution first using the dab powder about uh, 0.1 gram dissolved in distilled water first and then you need to add, add a few drops of HCl because otherwise they don't get dissolved and if it is not dissolving you need to lower the pH using this uh, HCl and this will turn into a light brown uh, colored solution after 10 minutes and uh, when you are doing the experiments you can uh, make this into a 0 0.5 to 1 milligram in the 50 millimolar trist HCl at uh, 5.5 pH using HCl you can adjust this uh, I recommend this to be prepared freshly because if you stir more time it will be like a black, blackish brown and it, it will interfere with your microscopy and after that you can incubate your plant samples uh, for about 20 minutes to one hour or two hours under dark conditions at room temperature and uh, this can be done in a on a shaker and the time period you incubate depends on your experiment so you need to uh, take uh, a few samples and monitor which uh, incubation period is the best and after that you can wash with uh, the same buffer for three times and uh, if this is uh, about roots uh, you don't need to bleach but if you are looking at the leaves you need to remove the chlorophyll by a additional leaching step finally you can use the light microscopy to look at these uh, roots or leaves and you can see after stress the uh, brownish color increase because the dab reacts with H2O2 and form a brown color precipitate. And thank you for watching and goodbye.